I'd ask Mr. Paul Tilly to come forward and uh, extend some greetings on behalf of the town of Clareville. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Um, growing up, <clears throat> growing up in, in Buckins, we uh, did a lot of unusual things there. Uh, <laughs> we did a lot of unusual things, but many of those unusual things led to some bumps and scrapes. I learned about Newton's law pretty quickly. Uh, I'm still learning about it. But you know, one of the things that Isaac Newton said one of the most famous statements I ever, I always go to is that we can see further because we stand on the shoulders of giants. And I think that holds very true, particularly when I look at the Clarenville business community. And as I was going through this this morning, you know, looking at the names of people who have been inducted over the last eight years into the Clarenville Business Hall of Fame. You know, not only the names, but the the, the entities, you know, if you think about, and, and there are so much more than names, you think about names like Mercer. There's Philip Mercer and his family over there. You think of names like Mills, Corn Mills. Corn showed me how to ski, he dragged my children up over everything. I've learned so much from that man. But he's one of many people in this town, and Alec Balson is going to be the latest member, who have not only built a business here, but built the community. And that's why I can say, coming from Buckins, that I'm so glad to live in Clarenville, because every time I go to a conference or something with other municipalities, particularly small municipalities, and I've been talking to Mr. Wiseman on this, the, it's amazing how many are looking at doom and gloom. Our challenge in this town is how do we cope with growth? It's 180 degrees with so different than so many other of the towns. We don't realize how lucky we are. And as I look at my own hometown now that is dying, I'm thinking, my gosh, you know, I am so lucky to be here. And the reason I'm lucky is because the people who work in the business community have built the community and continue to build the community with their time, their talent, and their treasure. The time. When was the last time that anybody walked in the Mercer store and didn't have a chat with Philip Mercer? When was the last time that Philip Mercer ever said to anyone, I'm too busy, sorry. <laughs> when was the last time that someone here in this room when looking for some money or got asked for some money from some group, a school group, or something like that, for something to help a deserving cause. Our children going on a trip, some organization, a raffle, something to do with anything. I think that all of you business people know that you're called on a lot for that. And I think that all of you contribute to it. I, I hold up the Winter Games last year. The Winter Games, I was involved, I was fortunate enough to be involved with that under the leadership of Greg Pittman here. I mean, we were overwhelmed with support from the community, the business community in particular, for those things that we needed to do in order to make this town proud. And we did a really good job thanks to you. So. You know, it, it's an easy job to stand up here and say, thank you, business community. The, the town of Clarenville, the politicians of the town of Clarenville may not necessarily, we may not see eye to eye all the time. And I think that's good. Because you make very good cases for your points. And, and I'm glad you do. We need to do that. But one thing we do do is we all row the boat in the same direction. And as Mr. Newton pointed out, with Newton's law, those forces need to act together in order to get progress. And I think because of the progress we've seen in this town, we know that we are moving in the right direction and we continue to move in the direction that we need to go in. And it's because of people like you. And when I see subsea controls here tonight, I'm so glad to see them because 
they're the stars. That's our new generation, folks. That's our new generation. They're going to speak for this town in terms of technology and applying the skills and the new generation of business people. And I, I just want to hope that we, and I encourage them, and I hope that all the rest of us encourage them too. So again, on behalf of the town council, the mayor, and the people of Clarenville, most importantly, thank you for all you do. And congratulations to all the nominees here tonight. Congratulations to the winner. Congratulations, Mr. Balsam. One of the people who you can have a chat with and look for something from and get a good, solid response from whenever you go looking. Thank you.